guys, we're back with another unboxing. And today I'm unboxing this prize figure of Luca. This is the Project Diva Arcade Sega prize figure. Um, Taylor would have unboxed this with me, but you see, well, I paid for one day shipping because she was over this weekend. I wanted it to get here for her to unbox, but the weather delayed it. So, yeah, but by myself, again, mm, getting tired of doing figures by myself. But anyway, I have the um, Miku Project Diva F figure, which I think you've probably seen me unbox by now. But I've been really meaning to get a Luka figure, because I have the Luka Ninja, but that's it. I really want the Luka Tony figure. That one's really expensive, it's going to wait a while. Definitely going to get the Figma sometime, maybe, eventually. Hopefully. Oh, there's tape on the side. Wait, I got this off of Amazon, and I was a little worried that it was going to be a bootleg, because after I ordered her, I checked the seller, and he had some other... He, it, whatever, had some other, um, bootleg items. And I'm like, ooh, shoot, can't cancel my order. Um, but I checked on figurecollection.com, and it turns out there is not a known counterfeit version of her. So, there really probably doesn't, there aren't any bootlegs of her. Usually it's only the really, um, like expensive, more famous figures, like big smile figures and whatnot that have bootlegs. And what the heck is up with this tape? There we go. Usually these smaller, um, cheaper figures don't have bootlegs, so yeah. There's the base. Looks pretty good. I like the Project Diva Arcade thing. I wish I could play Project Eve Arcade. That would be cool. And here she is. She is really awesome. Her face looks incredible. Like her eyes, they look really nice. If it, this stupid camera would focus. There we go. Those eyes are so pretty. Her outfit is really nice looking too. And the painting's a little rough there on that thigh high. Other than that, it all looks pretty good. There's a little paint transfer on her elbow there. I like her boots. They look they look awesome. And her hair is just gorgeous. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. I really like the Sega Prize figures. They're they're cheap. They're not quite as nice as good small ones, but they're still pretty nice. And to put it on, you just put her feet pegs in the holes. Ooh, get in there. Usually they don't always line up perfectly, so you have to sometimes force a leg over, but that just kind of helps hold them a little firmer. Whoops. See, she snapped out. Get over there. And there's a little paint chip there. And yeah, the paint isn't perfect. And it's a little rough on the edge there, too. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. I mean, this is this was like a $25 figure, so... I mean, what do you expect? But that's it for this unboxing, guys. Hopefully, Taylor will be joining me in more future unboxings. Hopefully. Taylor, you better get your butt over here. And I will see you in, whoops, the next unboxing. Bye!